All right, so we've talked about interval notation, and so now we're moving into our next part, which is domain and range. Now, interval notation is going to come into domain and range, so that's why we kind of like build everything together. So once you notice the couple, the first like four or five lessons build on top of each other and wind up getting something big, like this one big huge thing. So domain and range building on top of what we talked about um, interval notation. So interval notation is going to come back up in this lesson. So just know that. All right. So domain and range is not brand new. Something that you've had before. Something that you've seen before. So we're going to move on into that. We're going to take a look at domain and range of graphs. We're going to take a domain and range of functions and all the good stuff. So let's go ahead and move into this next part. So this one is dealing with, first off, a definition here that you should have seen before and know. It's a thing called a relation. A relation. Like you know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying they have relations. It's me and me and a girl, or you and a guy, or a guy and a guy, a girl and a girl, whatever that sort is. They're having a relation. So it's a set of ordered pairs. And so normally whenever you see like um like the normal thing, but you can actually have it in multiple ways. So with this you normally see like an X and a Y. So like X and Y chromosomes and all this stuff. Blah blah blah. So with that, when we have the order pair, relation is an order pair, and X and a Y. So with that, the first thing we're going to talk about is your first vocabulary word in here, in this lesson here. And so second one overall, this is the first one for this lesson. And that's called our domain. And domain just means the input, what you put into the problem, what you put in. And then write that out to the side here. So it's what you put into the problem. So like, you put like a two in the problem, that's your input. You put three in the problem, that's your input. Now, range is the other thing, and that's your output. That's pretty much what comes out of the problem, what you spit out, what comes out at the end. So, like here, that is um, what comes out. Or easier to say, it's the answer. So your output's the answer, your input's what you put into the problem. Simple and easy, not hard, that's not bad. Domain, input, what you put into it. Normally that's your x values. Normally that's your x values. And your range is what you get out of it, which is normally your y values. So it's not bad, we can do that, we got that. Range, range is output. At what comes out, domain is what comes in, the x value. So that's not bad. We can do that. Remember that. Right? Now, I want you to write this down, and I'm going to talk about it really quickly because we're going to now move into evaluating functions. So it's not just going ahead and just saying, okay, well, this is your x, this is your y, this is your input and your output, but we're actually going to actually go in depth with it, going deeper. I don't know if you like watch Cosby show, but like there's this one show where like the, um, this teacher is like this person's having a dream and they're talking about the teacher and the teacher is like, um, they ask the teacher a question and the teacher is like, dig deeper, dig deeper. So I'm telling you to dig deeper on this one because we're going a little bit deeper. So when evaluating functions, you are given the domain, the input, so you're given the input. And you need to find the range. So the range is the output. Or in other words, again, the answer. And again, when evaluating functions, like we're getting ready to do on the next part, you are given the domain and you need to find the range. You're given the input, you need to find the output, the answer. And again, just to throw this up here, just to do it. Remember, input is what you put into the problem. 
that's what you put in. All right, so on this next video, we're going to go ahead and go into an example, and hopefully it's a review example of it, but we're also going to talk about domain and range when it comes to that. All right.